Some critics argue that Gamergate was mostly or entirely right wing. Do you think that is accurate? Um, according to the polls, no. Um, I'm skeptical of the polls that that were held. Um, what I will say is that I think that it, at least at this point, anybody that's really still talking about it who isn't critical of Gamergate is the majority of them probably are right wing at least compared to what the left wing is nowadays but the ones that i knew um there were a lot of them that were like me a, a disaffected liberal because uh, i i came out of of the school of liberal thought but i'm more of a classical liberal and i think that's what the majority of gamergate was it's just that now the the taxonomy is that that's right wing you say you're a disaffected liberal do you want to talk about your political views or philosophy um, I mean, I, I think we're we're really doing that already. Um, I I support uh, strong speech rights. I think that uh, obviously government shouldn't be involved in censorship, which we've now found out is a huge problem, way bigger than than we thought it was before. But um, I think that it's an even bigger problem socially um, because. Uh, <sighs> It's it's very easy to uh, sorry, I'm giving you some dead air too. Oh, you're um, totally cool. Dude, take as long as you need, man. I'm <laughs> literally I care about the book a thousand times more than I care about the stream, so Okay, okay. Um yeah, that's honestly that's my my that's the core of my of my uh political ideology is the concern with uh not just First Amendment rights, because that's that's U.S. specific, but uh, the but also the the larger issue of censorship being caused by social pressures. So that's that's really my main political concern. Have your politics changed since Gamergate, or perhaps because of it? Um. Yeah, they have. Um, it's. It's honestly what made me realize that that Democrats and I no longer share the important core values uh, that that I thought that they did previously. Um, I remember having a discussion early on. This would have been early 2015, I think, with somebody uh, that was a critic of Gamergate, and we got into the discussion because I told them that I usually vote Democrat, although I didn't consider myself a Democrat. I usually vote a Democrat. Um, and they're, uh, dang it, stop going, stupid thing. Uh, and I, I told them that I usually vote Democrat, and then I, I expressed my concerns about uh, First Amendment violations um, and due process rights and things like that. And the uh, it, it just kind of shocked me because the person was like, well, then why the hell would you vote for Democrats? We don't have those values. And I was... That was just, it was shocking because that guy was, he, you know, he was progressive and he voted Democrat. And I was like, wow, you know, didn't realize that until then uh, that uh, Democrats were so far off the, the path that I thought that they were on. And so my politics sort of changed in that my voting habits changed because after that, I voted uh, either independent or or Republican, although I still vote for the same values. Did you vote for Trump? You don't have to answer if you don't want to, by the way. No, I didn't vote for Trump either time, in fact. You say that the Democrats are uh, no longer believing in liberal values like free speech. Do you think that the Republicans are good defenders of liberal values? Uh. I don't. However, I think that they're a better defender than than Democrats at this point. I don't want to get like too big into like, politics. Oh, God. I was just going to say, like, they're both bad at it. It's just that Republicans, at at least at this point, care about it a little bit more, in my opinion. I don't want to get super big into politics, since that's not what this interview is about, but I do think it's worth mm -hmm. exploring a little bit more, okay? Okay. If that's cool with you. Yeah, that's fine. Democrats or people who are more on the left would might say that Donald Trump represents a, a break from liberal values and democratic norms and traditions. 
to a very significant degree. Do you think that's not, do you, what do you think of that assessment? Uh, they're probably right. Honestly, like the, I'm not a Trump supporter, like by far, and I never have been. My criticism was of media coverage of Trump uh, and the dishonest and, and often unethical way that even congressmen uh, behaved in response to him. Um, but like, I, I don't have any illusions about him. The guy mostly doesn't believe what he says. Um, and his track record is very poor uh, on defending uh, those those values. Do you think that the Republicans with this upcoming primary election are going to get rid of Trump in favor of a more moderate candidate? Or not moderate, but more, I guess, like pro-liberal democracy candidate? Um, you know, I honestly don't know. It's kind of a coin flip. Um. Dems in a number of states uh, are working to, to get Trump off the ticket, and even some of the, the more anti-Trump Republicans are, are joining them. And if he loses even one state, like if he's not on the ballot in even one state, like he's not going to win. Um, so I hope they do. I would prefer DeSantis' ticket. That's That's the guy that I think has an actual track record of, of doing something in government, uh, dealing with, uh, uh, with respects to conservative values, and in particular, um, uh, the encroachment of, of this sort of woke ideology uh, into government and, and, the, and uh, many of our social institutions. Do you think that by going after Disney or some books that are in schools, that DeSantis is anti-free speech? Um, I would actually agree with you on Disney. Um, I thought that he overstepped his bounds a little bit, or at least came too close to the line for my comfort when it came to the Disney thing. The, the, the books in public schools, I don't have an objection to. Um, there's limited space in libraries and, and in the curricula, and so it's entirely within a state's discretion if they want to take some material out. Um, or choose not to to make those materials available to to kids. Um, but I I did the the thing that bothered me about DeSantis was that he also went after like universities uh, uh, in that bill. Or it wasn't him; it was the the uh, Florida Congress. But you know he supported it. Um, and so that I had an objection to, because it's, it's one thing where you're dealing with kids. Um, you do actually need to be kind of careful how you, what kind of explicit material you give them. Um, but with adults, no, that, that was just, that was going over the line. Are you okay with gaming sites criticizing games through a political or religious lens, such as a Marxist, feminist, Christian, or other lens? Yeah, they should be able to do that. I disagree with them, and I usually object to their reasoning because their reasoning is usually very flawed, but they should be able to do that. Do you think that there's any value at all in that sort of uh, political critique? Yeah. Yeah, and and just just as I would object to to them trying to shut down that discussion on our side, they should be able to have that discussion because, you know, they there is probably perspective in what they're saying uh, that has some value, even if I disagree with a lot of the reasoning surrounding it. One of the Gamergate people I talked to a couple of days ago argued that they believed that the website should be free to criticize them, but that if they do that, they shouldn't put official review scores on them. What do you think? Um... That's a tough call. Um, that is a judgment call, in my opinion. Um, maybe I would say, like, if they labeled it well, to say, hey, by the way, we're, we're taking this score through a political lens, right? Well, that's fine, as long as you're telling people. Um, it's when you try to hide that fact behind a bunch of jargon or, or you know, present it uh, deceptively uh, that it becomes a problem. Especially when it affects commerce, which it would. Some people say that Gamergate was the first battle of the culture war. Do you have any thoughts on that framing? 
Um, that is almost true. Um, I think the controversy surrounding Atheism Plus was probably the first real, like, uh, shakeup in the political landscape, in the, in the culture war, but Gamergate was certainly the largest. And it came shortly after, 